the pedal turns the and pumps the hydraulic water, all right? Yep. The hydraulics makes the hydraulic pressure in the tank. We've got a wall 25 meter and another one 20 meter, 22 meters. And between that wall on the first three floors is a water tank. So it pressurizes the water in there. The water comes out of there into the hydro turbine generator, spins that, yep. makes the electricity, right? The electricity comes out and the whole amount of the electricity splits the seawater. The whole 5,000 megawatts will split the seawater into gas. And the compressors on another floor, the hydrogen compressors on another floor, compress yep. the gas, right, with the hydraulics. Yep. Yep. And it puts it in a fibre bottle, right, a fibre bottle, not a steel one, a fibre bottle, which is light. <clears throat> and that bottle uh, um, um, is piped into a ship with another big bottle in it. The whole ship with a big... It, that's what these guys are built. A ship that's a bottle, right? A big, long ship. One big bottle, full up, right? It'd probably take with this turbine a day to fill it or half a day to fill it or whatever. And that bottle is drawn back on its own power to the shore. No wires, no wires, and takes it back to the shore, under the sea at, at, at the nearest city, right? And it will either fill other bottles, we'll, we'll go, we'll go to, the, to the city, there's a big bottle there, we, we empty the one in the ship straight into the other one, right? Pump it, pump it into the other one, and the ship goes back. It goes back and fill it up again, because we're the more fuel we burn, the more profit we make. The more that plane flies, the more we make from the water in the sea. And there's a shitload of water that comes off the end of that. The, the generator on, on the shore, the generator. Yep. We've got some more cheap generators that um, are turbine, tur turbine um, uh, burning the hydrogen, burning the hydrogen back to water and sure. the power to go from there, we've got our own grid, a small area, all right? We go in a small 25 kilometer area and we've got new wires, new wires to go to the houses or the other way we've got is we bottle in smaller fiber bottles that you can carry and screw in to the house. You just get yep. five of those bottles that will last you maybe two weeks or three weeks. And you screw it in and that yep. will run your little generator to make uh -huh. your power. Right, Whenever you want it just runs, starts and the little jet engine yep. makes your power from its generator straight into the thing. And so there's no batteries, no batteries. It just comes straight out and keeps going. Right? Yep. And so that's how we, that's how we do, no wires, we, we don't need wires, we, we can have bottles in all the houses. And we can go around, somebody can go around with the bottles and, and replace them, when they ring up for another one, it'll come around and drop another one, right? Replacements. And in the cars, they screw in, right? They screw in, yep. in the back, you might have six of them in the back, these fibre, like dive tanks. And that, yep. th that'll last that car a month, right? It'll, it'll last them a long time. But we have cooler uh, cryogenic tanks, um, cryogenic tanks to keep the hydrogen cool. Uh, so yeah. that's a different type of tank. I've got to deal with uh, HB Technologies in uh, in um, Taiwan. I've got that. I set that up in 2012 uh, with HB Technology, the owner there. So I can just pick up on him again and get those tanks done. <coughs> those ones will be for the cars and for the uh, for the houses, for the homes that we build. What are, what are the, uh, the, the the generators that you say that you're going to have to the houses that you screw the bottles in? Mm. What uh, KVA do they kick out? What are the generators kicking as out? As low as as low as possible. We, we go down. We go down to uh, low voltage, but high amperage okay. uh, on its own generator. It it it, 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 okay. it won't have high volts. It, it'll be a low. Low, low, low generator. Low, low amp, high volts, yeah. yeah. 
Brilliant. No. Yeah. So, so that, it's going to be safe for two then? Yeah. We're going to have to for yeah. electricity DC. too? Like DC. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So, so, so that's, I'm getting away from the frequencies. That's why we don't go under the sea with wires and all that sort of thing. That's what the problem yeah. those other turbines are having under the sea at the moment, the, the two megawatts. Yeah, we can, also, we can also clean up the dirty electricity as well then because of the frequencies coming in that because that's yeah. causing a lot of it. Too. <coughs> yeah, so, so, so with this, it's, it's bulk energy. Bulk, what, what I'm doing is this. I'm putting up one turbine here and another one 100 metres here and another one 100 metres there in a line and putting the airport on top for the plane to land on top. And it fills up and it goes to the next one and next one. Once we get one going, all these things will, will start to go one here, one here, one here, one here. Depending on the demand of how much uh, hydrogen a city uses, we'll, 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 you know, for, for New Zealand, you'd need about, uh, about five of these, five of these stacked up like that on, on the Ranfilly Bank. Five times five thousand megawatts, right? Twenty twenty five five twenty five twenty five thousand megawatts on this bridge. Yep. The plane is going to land and get to you in four hours' time. I'm, I'm I'm getting that plane going. We're getting that plane going, right? With this one mm -hmm. Harold. Harold knows. Harold knows. I said Harold, when these Chinese get this one going, they're going to flood the whole place out. And who's going to get all that benefit? Is it going to be 60 for me and 40 for you or for the whole world? And he's, he took a look back like that and says, oh, yeah, I didn't think of it like that because he's a corporate. I said, no, I'm going to spread the wealth because there's plenty for everyone. That's what I said on the video to him. There's plenty for everyone, Harry. We don't have to be mean. And so that's what's going to happen um, uh, in, 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 the, in that process. See? So that it's Brilliant. all good all around because you've got you've got this is this is the product from that that platform in the sea. Mm -hmm. They don't know this, but the, the you got the top building that slides the sixty meters that slides up and down on its eight legs, and then you got the other one in the middle that side that uh, the shaft. But the first one stays out of the water, but you've got the other one underneath, right? There's another building 12 metres high with two, three metre floors. So you've got one here, one here, and that one stays yep. right above the water, uh, 30, 50 metres, 30 metres or so above sea level. And this one here, yep. we can drop it near the sea level or go under the sea because if it gets rough, we take that one down halfway down and hold the chains to hold the whole lot while, while it's still grabbing all the power out of the sea that's rough, right? We, we brace it. In the, in the halfway how, how, how are you how are you how are you fixing it how are you fixing it in, in place so what happens um, when the ship oh, 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 I'll explain it like this here's the shaft he, here's the shaft can you see that yep yep that's the shaft it's 150 meters long it's sitting on the boat so mm -hmm. so I'll, I'll just explain when it gets out there the two rams push it up like that two big long rams and stands it up like that and the legs free fall down. The three metre legs yeah. are that, or uh, only the ones on the outside of the, the ship. On the outside, when you sit on the ship, the outside legs, there's four there and four here. Right? Okay. They drop straight down first and the ship's weight will, will, will push them into the rock and lift the ship off the sea. Right? Okay. Okay? Because... You've got the other ones sitting here on the ship. Uh, or, or what happens is it's a jack-up. It's a jack-up barge, okay? So, so what happens is the other outside building has got the legs on it. The only ones that go down are the ones on the edge of the ship, outside the edge on both sides. The ones in the middle on the, on the deck stay there. These ones here push push it off the ship when it sits on the rock, right? So when it sits solid on the rock, the other, when it sits solid on the rock, the, the ship is out of the water. And so we've got a drill bit that goes down on the leg and it 
drilled the hole on each leg on a plate. Yeah. We've got a plate sitting on the sitting on, on the shaft down there that has the drill bit that goes around and drills each one's hole on each leg. One leg goes up and is standing on the other legs. So at the moment, the, 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 when these legs go down, they'll free fall and stop. They won't hit the bottom because it's got air in it. They, they won't go to the bottom. The, the three meter diameter legs, right? That they, they won't go down. But that we've got, we've got. Can you see them? We've got tires, big tires, on those uh, mining trucks. Those big ones. You see the big fat wheels. That's you know, high. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've got three of those around each each leg that drive drive the building up, the, the big building up, right? Mm -hmm. Ar around around the shaft. So um, we've got we, we, we can lift lift each leg up and change the drill and drop that into the hole in the rock, right? Each hole gets drilled. This takes within a day when it gets there. The drill goes around and drills the hole down about five meters, four, four to five, five meters, right into the rock. So now there's a clean hole, and this one of the legs that just got drilled will go straight into the hole. And we've got a hydraulic ram going across inside that spreads the pipe out yeah. against the rock and locks it. Right? Locks it, so it locks yeah, it yeah. like a bulldozer. Yeah. On a bulldozer, the tracks. It's got a grease gun that you put mm -hmm. the grease into the into the ram, and it pushes the track yeah. out and tightens it. That we we, we yeah. use that to lock and swell the pipe out against the rock, and it won't go anywhere. And we got a we got a dial on it that can tell us how much tons it's gone into the rock. All right? So that locked mm -hmm. one leg. One leg is now locked. Then we the the, the the wheels will run the other next leg and drill that hole, and when that's cleaned out, we got we got air to blow blow all the stuff out of the hole. And when that goes down, goes the next leg. So you've got eight legs going around, or, or four on that side of the ship. The ship is still sitting. The other legs are still on the deck. They're still up 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 sticking up in the air, right? So now we've got. Four legs around this outside of the boat, and four legs on that side of the boat, and locked into the rock. Now, what happens is the ship will be driven back down on the water, and mm -hmm. it will float straight out, right? Got you. With the building, and then the other legs go down of that was sitting on the deck, up on the deck, yeah. Yeah? and down they go, down, down they go, and drill. The plate down there, there's a plate down there that sits on the rock. It's, there's, a, there's a plate about a metre diameter sitting on the bottom underneath the boat when we, we're, we're putting it on under the boat when we get there, right? We've got to fit that down under, let the, let the legs go down, fit the plate on, and then the plate goes down first with the first eight legs, okay? And, and so that's... The plate is sitting down there. There's no need to concrete anything because the plate's locked onto the layers when it gets down the bottom. After after the all the holes are drilled, the plate is locked solid so yeah. that it holds the whole of it square. Everything's square. And you've got this round building coming down here to keep it square. Right? That's that's what that other second building. One building there, one building here. You got the pump here, the turbine here, the turbine and another pump on the bottom. So you got one, two, three, and the two buildings up here, four, spinning around. And those that building comes down and hooks on these and pulls them all out of the water. Right? If there's something wrong with the pump, this building comes down, hooks on, and they all drive off out of the water in a short time. You see? And we can fix it up and send it back down. And so and so to decommission it, we just let the grease out of the out of those rams and just yeah. drive itself out of the hole. Mm -hmm. See, but right. but uh, because it's got this, um, uh, it's got this um, um, 
stuff coating on, on the steel, it's got a long life um, span. Uh, on, that was, that was, that was, that, that was going to be my next question. Enamel. Yeah. What was going to what was going to stop it from uh, rotting away? Enamel. Uh, water. Enamel. Yeah. They've, they've got an enamel that's yeah. 40, up to 40 millimeter thick on a 20 millimeter thick steel. It's stronger than the steel. That's what they make those tanks out of. That they put the, the, the put put the acid in. Uh, Z mm. tanks. It's called Z tanks, and they make these big tanks. That's what we're using. The big tanks. Cool. They are all tanks. All these buildings. Are tanks 12 meters high, top, 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 all the way up like that. They're all separate tanks. When they put them together in the workshop, they go top, 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 top. And when they go on the boat, they go top, 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 top. Right? They're all drawing a tick, tick on the air, go, 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 like that on the boat. You see? So we got these things running along like that on tracks down here. Everything's hydraulic. Everything on this boat is hydraulic. I'm a hydraulic mechanic. Okay? So everything. And then on top of this, then on top of this, you're going to have a landing platform for planes to land onto the top of this. Uh, no, that's after that one in, and then we build yep. another one, a hundred meter span, and then the mm -hmm. ship will bring a hundred meter long span in the middle, the building for a meter long, and yep. it'll, it will lift the the building up the top will come down, the one down up the second one go under the water, and lift this thing in place. And then join it up to that building, to this building, and there's your building to to do all the manufacturing, your fishing, fisheries, your your processing, your refrigeration. You got the hydrogen for refrigeration. Everything from the land will land on the top and get processed here, packaged and exported straight on that plane. Hot pies, mate. You'll have your hot pie in a short time from me. I'll make you a bread and get you a bread store up. Okay? So that's how this yeah. works. This is the hydrogen economy and the planes, the quickest way to get around the world. They've got these hydrogen planes flying, but they're, they're, it's not real, it's just a, 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 what, what's expected. But, but no fuel to fill it, this is it. You need 5,000 megawatts each leg, each one, five, 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 to fill those planes. Otherwise, forget it. You can forget it. Right? No little windmill, no little solar, no little turbine with a stupid little windmill like that under the water, thinking they're going to get a lot of power and, and that it's going, to, it's going to fill a plane. You imagine how much water it uses when it takes off, when, it, when it's launched off. We're using compressed air to throw the plane off, off, this, off this and we're using the air to slow it down and magnetic strip to, to make sure it gets on one go. Right? On, on this, the strip is only 200 metres long to land one of these hydrogen planes. 200 meters. And how big, how, big are the, how big are the planes? 300, 300 passengers. They're, longer, passenger. they're, longer, than a, they're longer than a than a jumbo. Longer than a jumbo. And, um, they're, but they're, 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 they're Mac, Mac, Mac 3 to Mac 4. <coughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, about 2,500 uh, miles an hour. But, but that's, that's, um, that's got the Sabre engine in it. It turns into a rocket engine. It's the same a, a, a jet engine turning into a rocket engine to go further out. That's the plane I'm filling, to go further out. And that's, I mean, that's brilliant, because I mean, Concorde was only two and a half Mac, wasn't it? Yeah, so now this is three, five megawatt uh, Mac. So about three, three, three to four Mac. So, Ooh. so, so, so what's that, how long is that then from New Zealand to England? Four hours. <laughs> 24 hours wow. usually, 24 hours usually, cut down to 4 hours, and this is it. This is the turbine that does it. If you want fuel, if you want serious fuel, you won't get it from anything else but water. And that's the water money. That's the water money currency will beat the, beat the gold currency. It, it'll outstrip the gold currency. Because you know what? You can drink it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can cut. There's a point. Well, that's, uh, you know, you know, in the houses, you know, when you say you're taking the bottles for the, the, mm. the generators per for the houses. Yeah. What happens to the uh, fumes to that? Is that is that going to be converted back into water? Yeah, just water comes. Water is the product that comes off the end of it. Water. Mm -hmm. You bottle it and you drink it. So how much? So how much water will come off? Um, how much water will come off it? Oh, for a bottle like that, it'd probably be about um, 
Or 100 litres, might be more. Yeah? Yeah, a lot of water. Yeah, hell, yeah, from hydrogen. I've, I've got all the figures, but I've, I've, uh, they're, they're stacked away. I've, I've, done, I've got all that technology. I've got all the superconducting technology, all, all the plasma engine technology, all the outer space technology, because you can't get out there without this. And, and, and how, how are we going to get out to the outer space, though? Because, I mean, obviously the Van Halen belt. What, 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 what well, do you mean I've, by the space? I've done this. The world, so if you take the world, I've explained it on the video, you've got the world's round, and you've got north, south like that, the fields, all right? Yep. And so what I'm doing here is this. I'm, I'm making another world, baby world, engine. And I'm, I'm, it's got its fields as well, but on the inside. Right? I'm taking the fields and trapping them on the inside of a sphere, inside of a sphere, inside of a sphere, inside of a sphere. I've made this engine. I made this engine, and on the outside of the inside is helium. That stops the frequencies from getting into stuff and up. So what you do is this. You've got gas running this earth out there. The gas takes the, the, the DC current out and comes back and, and discharges at the bottom. On the way around there, it trickles back here, is induced current, to keep the fields topped up uh, on the uh, on, on, on the uh, the fields are cutting. The earth has got a ball inside the middle, which is going ahead a slight faster than the outside one. And so mm -hmm. that's got its own field right in the middle of the heart. This earth is is putting fields right through the center, hot, 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 and that's where the resistance is. That's causing all that. From the electric, it's a, it's a generator, battery, motor, a DC generator, battery, motor. That's what I built. Exactly the same, that size, 400 meter millimeters, and this here is five megawatts of power from a little baby from the big one. And all I did was this: made the metal, put it in the right places, so that. When a current goes through it, in, on the inside, it's at right angles, it's not bent, like this earth, and bent and lost. It's all straight right angles, where the gas, you put a gas, that's what I'm doing with this tidal turbine, with the water, when the water hydraulics, when, when the pressure bangs up the, the turbine, what's left over as a relief goes out the cross shaft, the blade and out the end and pushes the ground. I'm using water pressure to like a jet, jet water uh, uh, jet boat jet boat to push the turbine around and I'm using compressed air with the compressors on another floor to pump up the tank the air pressure tank to bang the water up and push some more around that turbine around some more but where the turbine goes through where the turbine goes through, we've got a hole over here and a pipe there and the pipe cross shaft and the blade there. Where, where this is only this long, we've got a pipe here where it goes and the, 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 get the water and the air coming through and going out that way and the water being sucked in the front, sucked in the front and jetted out that way. Over here we have magnets on the side of that. When you put a current uh, or a current or a liquid or something uh, 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 that's got phosphorus or, or other metals mixed with it or salt, salt water through through a pair of magnets, it will create another vault from the vault you're putting in its windings. So I've got that technology on that part of the blade at the end to give us 0.4 of 5,000 megawatts extra on top as as um, uh, added added power that keeps the dinner keeps the wheel spinning keeps it going so 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 that's why we got so much power added 
into this project with all those technologies all in water all, all, all around hydraulics and 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 so you've got mechanical energy we've got electrical energy and we've got uh, we've got um, this uh, it's called magneto hydrothermodynamic energy so in, in other words mag um, superconducting magnets we've got superconducting magnets instead of ordinary mag magnets we, we're getting more power from the the hydrogen itself being superconducting right we're using the hydro hi hydrogen in these poles in in these that's why they call a semi uh, semi superconducting generator to get more power they use hydrogen in its in its um, fuel windings to, to get the temperature down so they can push out more power but we're doing this in the end of this and we're we're, we're, we're we're, we're, we're using our stored energy with, with all the legs, all these legs are compressor tanks, right, to store water, air, and then we've got, um, we've got the uh, fiber tanks inside, stacked up inside the building, 12 meters high, right, and 4 meters diameter, all stacked up around as when the tide slows out and the pressure drops of that hydraulic, the jet engines fire up and push the electrical motors inside there, and it, 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 those those um, um, Francis turbines that the uh, um, uh, Chinese have built now, 840 megawatts on a 21 meter diameter generator. We're sticking those in these in this eight uh, six of those to get the 5,000 megawatts. Six of those big generators. There are motors as well, electric motors as well. See, so we 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 we, we fire them up into motors to drive the the the, the generator the, the turbine to keep it going at the same speed. If the tide slows down, we keep it going at the same speed and take take the pitch off 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 take the pitch. That's full pitch with the tide going that way, and on the other side. It's usually up 15 degrees to make it rise up against the tide going that way. So it raises, that's what raises it and goes down for another 90 degrees to drive it down. So it's going down and when it comes around it goes boom up the other way. So we've got four blades. Four blades so they catch they catch that on the way. When it gets there this blade is just getting ready to flip over. So there's nothing lost between there, there and there. Right? So it's it's a... Um, 36 meter diameter, um, 36 meter diameter uh, turbine. All right, uh, it's a 60 meter diameter outside ring where, where the where the uh, building is uh, and the legs. 60 meters. So you've got 36 meters. Uh, you've got 36 meters. You've got uh, to get from A to B. All this volume of of tons of water is going to travel from here to there at two meters a second, right? Two meters a second, or at, at, at the most five meters a second with a with a strong tide and strong wind. You're you're you you're, you're getting that power from just this going. It takes one minute for it to go right around back to there, right? One minute. One minute. Nothing going to do no dummies, is it? No. That's not going to do. No. Dummies, <laughs> Try telling people that it's it's out of sight and and it's not doing anybody harm because I'll tell you what, the sea will go around the edge of it. The, the sea, the, you're not going to stop the sea, but what we're doing is is stalling it from three meters a second down to one meter a second. So this is going one meters a second while the water is flying around at three meters a second. So you can imagine how much power that is. Yeah. 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 <laughs> see, what's the um, you know the the plane? You know the planes? Yeah. Who's you know, who's building the planes? Uh, British Lapcat. L A P C A T. British Lapcat A two. That's the name of the plane. Saber Saber's got the engines that are. A rocket engines turn into jet engines. They can go up on the jet engine 
and then turn into a rocket engine and carry on going. <coughs> yeah, so that's what I'm when, using. When I'm, I'm, I'm using. Or off, or off I'm using. Are they major? Hey. Is is any of them major? Major. Or any of those? No, no, no. They're waiting for this. I've, I've already written to them. I've already written to them in 2012. I've got to fill them up. How long is that going to take for them to make them? Oh, it, sh it, it shouldn't. It should take about six months to make one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Six months, but I'm saying in readiness. As soon as these Chinese, as soon as Harold gives the money for that, I'll, I'll get them ready to go for the, for the engine. For for the, yeah. for the for the field for the field. I'll, I'll make an order order for all of those planes for these shareholders to own. How's that? They get to own them. They can put their names. Right. They can put their name on it. <laughs> <laughs> and you know That's what's that. flying on it? That that flying on it. That's mm -hmm. flying. On. Yeah. That's flying. Right. On. That, that's its, that's its flagship. That's what you call a flagship. Well, yep. First time, first time ever. This is going to be flying on a flagship, in in readiness for that flagship. It's not on the sea yet. It's not there yet. But it's going to fly before it even hit. It'll be sold before it even Blumen hit the Blumen Airways. Mm -hmm. The concept will be sold by the time that plane is built. Okay, and you know what's going to happen? And, is, and, uh, and the generators, the generators for the for the houses. The generators for the houses will be very small. They only be that big, that that long. They only be about yeah. six inches long, uh, uh, six inches diameter. That's it. Fantastic. <laughs> He's on caravans then. Eh? You can have this for caravans. Oh, you can have it for anything. You can, you can make the caravan wheels drive itself. <laughs> you haven't got the little motors in the wheels. You've got little motors now in the wheels. You see? And, and you've just got the wire going up to this little generator. It's not a battery, it's, it's a it's generator. Yeah, is this what you're going to put on the cars then? Yeah, it's, yeah it's just got a, a little a teeny mini motor you you got a boot in it. you got a bonnet with nothing underneath it. you got another boot in the front and a boot in the back. And you got this little thing under your seat. Hmm? Now it's only a little motor. And all it, all it does is puts just enough power in the wheels. And each, each of the wheels got a hub in there. Uh, with a motor, electric motor. Hmm. That's it. And a little jet engine. It's a little jet engine. Have you, have, have you, uh, have you, uh, is the design of the cars... Have you designed the cars yet? Have the cars been designed? I don't, I don't have to design the cars. I'll just make a contract for the car to be made. I'll just say, here's the engine. Yeah. Here's have the, have they, is, there, is, there, is, there, is there a, is there a, is there a design major? Is, there a, is these, no, is that no, all? No, no, they've already got hydrogen hybrid buses and hydro, hy, hydrogen hybrid cars. Honda's already yeah. made them. They, they've already got these things made. God, but yeah. but, but they, they're, they're making their own hydrogen. They're going to fill it up at the car at the station, you know, along the road. Or they've got these little engines, they have got them already, in the car. To top the battery. It's got a battery in it, not a big one, a little one. And, w yeah. and when it goes downhill, those wheel things turn into generators. Right? In the yeah. wheel, in the hub. And then when it goes uphill, it turns into a motor. Right? <laughs> It's charging itself up on a long down run, and it's doing the opposite. They do that on those push bikes, those, those new new electric bikes. It's the same. It's got the same thing on there, with a with a with a battery down the down the front front thing frame. Oh, is your electric bike? You you can have that's electric bikes too, then. That's yeah, well, no, they already got them. You can buy them on on Alibaba. Yeah, they, yeah, they even get the. Uh, they they're not. Um, they're not very powerful, though, are yeah, they? Yeah, no, but they work. work. They, they work. I've seen them going up the street. I've seen them in Auckland going up the street with the Chinese on the end of it. Mm, He's going happily yeah. up the street. Up the street. The old guy. He's going up the street. <laughs> 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 he reckons as long as it goes fast enough that you can get your legs off the ground. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> you can go to the well, dentist awesome. and fill it up. I don't think what else, what else it will be used for. I mean, that, that's, that's fantastic. I mean, that's that's better than anything, uh, especially when it comes to food preparation and refrigeration yeah. and packaging. All of that is in this. It, it it fires up the whole factory. 
Yeah, he, he, mm -hmm. he, he, can, he can forget about all the pylons and everything else because we, we, we go around all that. We just, we just put our own, own little substation. Uh, we'll put, say, a little village. We'll put a 10 megawatt cheap Chinese generator there, jet engine generator, right? It'll be so quiet that it, it'll only feed that, that, that part there, that part, right? And you put another one over there. We put another 10 megawatt generator over there. And so he'll power that lot up. And so no more big old power lines. Just another question. Another question now. What about, um, therefore, like um, the technology that we've got now, because that, that's all adapted to AC, is the adapt, what about the adaption? Uh, so we, to... we've got a complete different system. It, it won't run mm -hmm. under that system. So, so we'll have to have a transformer to boost it up to fit those plugs. You'll just get a transformer and put it in the house and it'll have those plugs like those ones they have to change American into European into uh, other plugs, adapters. Yeah. So you just buy this box from Alibaba and plug it in and you've got your power back on your normal like what you've got. And you've still got your generator can power it. See? So if it's not big enough, you just go and get another bit bigger generator, six inches diameter. Or you get the next one, eight inches diameter. And you just go and swap and get another one. You see? That's all, that's all you do. You just, if, if it's not enough power, 10 megawatts is not enough, we, we'll just go and put 20 megawatts in. And, and just go and yank that one out and put it somewhere else. And then put 20 megawatts in. And give them a bit bigger bubble. You see? So no, no cables. No cables. No cables. No, no cables. Mm -hmm. yeah. they, 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 they can, they can, they, they got this thing with wireless now, power bounced around by wireless, yeah. without the wires. So, so that's no technology, but I'm just saying, for the bottle's sake, we're, 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 we're transporting power by bottle. Yeah. yeah. Power in the bottle. Yeah. Power in the bottle. And these bottle drops are just coming at the right time. How are these bottle bottle drops? <laughs> I mentioned it to my neighbour. I was talking to him because he's um, his computer literally. He's, he knows what he's doing, and he's uh, he's all in Bitcoin and all this stuff. And when I uh, when I said to him, I said uh, about bottle cop, bo bottle tops, and he said. And I said, like, <laughs> this is like, as well, I says, and I was saying about yourself, like, when you when you called it bottle tops, I says, uh, Harold said, uh, you know, he was a bit offended by that. <laughs> well, yeah, he says, yeah, because it's got, I says, well, yeah, you understand that. I says, but at the end of the day, it's got no intrinsic, no intrinsic value. It's not, it's not worth anything. It's, it's just, where, where's the value for it? And uh, I had to explain to him about, but he, he sort of got it in the end line, but it did go over his head. That's, this is the main thing, right? I mean, this is the main thing, is getting three people to understand. It's, it's because people can't, they, they're, they're, they're just so you stuck see, in the way. They, you, they're not, they can't think outside the box. Yeah, so, They've been trapped inside that box. So, so these things are digital. You, they're not in a, in a box or in a, in a bucket. You don't get a whole bucket full of, 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 of Bitcoins. It's, 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 mm -hmm. a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a digital way of transferring money. Uh, yeah. and, and you cash it in to who will take it. And so mm -hmm. what better than a big mining company or someone with gold in or something uh, that they are spreading around. They're looking for, okay. they're looking for people to trade uh, without uh, too much expenses. Oh, there's my wife. Hang on a second. Oh. Let me just say good morning. Tell you what, what, John. I'll let you get off, mate, because okay. uh, I'll let you do your fault. Okay. I'll choose it because it's... Uh... Yeah, it's twenty to five again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll go and I'll, I'll go and take my dogs for a quick walk. Okay. All right. We'll catch you up. Right. I'll, I'll go and catch you again. I'll go and chat with him. Yeah. Have a good one. Yeah. yeah. Take care, you. Okay. Bye, now. Bye.
Ha <laughs> ha.
Yes. Work, work, working with, with him from China. And get visas extended.
Come up to learn. I'll carry on and finish this video in a minute. That's Daryl up in. Show you ID. Okay. Very good. Right, I'm just on the line with um, Beryl Payne at the moment, California. 
Uh, he's with our embassy there, the um, Moai King William IV. Trust embassy. That's basically it. I'm going to my lord soon and uh, a bit for my walk this morning. Up to the tank up the road. Yes. Um, and already people are registered. I was just explaining to um, Andy um, Devine, he's very good, I can talk to him and he can ask me any questions uh, about the tidal turbine. So I'm just explaining a bit more each time. I'm doing this, I'm doing this so we claim it for ourselves. The water in the sea, the king's title, the Admiralty in the sea. 